you will never hear an astronaut come back from space flight and say to a group like this, well, that wasn't such a big deal. I don't know. <laughs> you will not hear that. It is truly an out of this world experience in so many different ways. Uh, looking out the window, for example, being able to see a thousand miles in any direction that you look, being able to fly over the United States or Australia. You know, on the weather maps, they always show the low pressure systems with the fronts, it kind of looks like a comma. Because of the thunderstorms rippling up and down, it truly is a comma. At nighttime, you can see the thunderstorms firing off and the extent of the cold front and its shape, and it's just what they show you on the weather maps. And you wish you could bring every kid in school who's learning weather, you know, for those two days in school, take them up and show them that picture because it's so much more graphic than, than anything you can see in a book. Uh, flying over Salt Lake City, for example, you, there's a railroad trestle that goes right across the middle of the Great Salt Lake, and you can clearly see when they built that, it divided the lake into two different halves. There were two completely different colors. You can see when the sun is just right, you can see the different currents. When you're flying over the oceans, you can't see ships, individual ships. But what you can see is the V-shaped um, weights that they leave are thousands of miles behind them. And the intersection of all these weights, and you can clearly see where the popular uh, sea lanes are. For example, coming in and out of the Mediterranean by the telltale weights that are being left by the ships. You never get tired of looking out the window. And whenever you have a free moment, like it says lunch or dinner, you grab your food and you run up to the window and you make sure you spend your time uh, get, taking advantage of the opportunity to try to lock in some of the memories of what you can see.